Hello, my name is Steve Gordon. I'm an entertainment lawyer and author of The Future of the Music Business. The third edition of the book is published by Hal Leonard. I wrote it as a roadmap for success for those who want to make it in today's music business. I've been practicing entertainment law for over 20 years, including 10 as a lawyer and business affairs executive at Sony Music. Check my website, stevegordonlaw.com, for more information about my practice, clients, music clearance service, and podcast interviews with music celebrities and music industry experts. I wrote the first edition of The Future of the Music Business in 2005. Since then, a lot has happened, not all of it good. In fact, there's been a tremendous amount of bad news, especially for the recording industry. As this chart shows, income from recorded music has dropped dramatically. Although monies earned from digital singles and albums have consistently been climbing, these sales have failed to compensate for the dramatic decline in CD sales. As a result of this harsh downturn, major record companies have fired thousands of music industry professionals and signed far fewer new artists. But the same new technologies that have created nightmares for major labels have also created amazing new opportunities for both artists and music business entrepreneurs. Here's a list of successful new businesses made possible by digital technologies, including webcasters, online music stores, ad-supported blogs, and music-based mobile apps. None of these businesses would even have been possible before the internet. Pandora, for example, a music webcast service which launched only a decade ago, went public in July 2011 and is now valued at approximately $2 billion. The digital revolution has greatly benefited artists by making worldwide distribution almost free by eliminating the huge costs of manufacturing, warehousing, and shipping, making it possible for the artists to sell records to their fans without the help of a major record company or any record company at all. And digital production technologies have made it possible to produce commercially acceptable recordings at a fraction of the price as 20 years ago, further decreasing the importance of a label partner, which usually kept approximately 90% of income from record sales. The internet also offers powerful marketing tools, including social networking sites, blogs, and user-generated content sites such as YouTube. Despite all this good news, navigating the new music business requires sophistication and a keen appetite for knowledge. The future of the music business is intended for those entrepreneurs, artists, and music industry professionals seeking insight on how to succeed in the new music business by providing a roadmap consisting of the rules pertaining to record deals, music publishing, licensing, and digital distribution, business models made possible by new technology, strategies to harness digital tools such as blogs and social networks, and insights by record company presidents, A&R executives, major artists, and music digital experts. The book also covers how to protect your songs, your name, your band's name, and how to find and work with a music attorney. You can find more information about my book at Amazon.com. And for updates, please check my blog, futureofthemusicbusiness.biz.